you've been voting again and this time you've picked a brand new area for me that i've never been to before karamja so there's gonna be a load of new things there but equally probably not the greatest area either and although range made a last minute charge to try and be combat skill this week the winner was defense the first on combat skill you chose was slayer knowing that the slayer master is too high level for me here the second skill you chose was Herb Law, which I can't train because I haven't unlocked the quest yet. And finally, you pick Construction, which whilst I can train, I don't have access to magic, so the only way to get there is to walk about 10 miles. So it seems you want to make this as difficult as possible, and that's okay, I love a challenge. You mother... <laughs> I'm looking forward to exploring here, which probably sounds really weird, it's not like I've never been here before, I've been here a million times, but I've only been here... This one's with so many skills and quests locked and the area, obviously. So it's like a brand new game mode. First thing we have is a few shops. So I'm just going to buy whatever I think I might need at any point later in the series, just while I'm passing. If it all goes wrong this week, I'm literally going to be picking 10 bananas here and putting them in the box for 30 GP a go. An area that's going to be massive for me this week, potentially, is the Tsar Caves. Now, my levels are really low at the moment and I have no chance in this area. They're far too high for me. But by the end, I might just get a little bit of time to get a massive upgrade from here. Buying Grog from the pub, will I ever need it? Probably not, but it's better to have it just in case. I could have opened this area or Mauritania last week, and I chose this area purely because it has access to a food shop and a pretty good one. So now my food worries are over, no matter how many times you lock me out of fishing and cooking, I can just buy a ton of food from here, and I'm good for a while. I now also have access to the charter ship so I can buy a lot of crafting supplies which is just going to help me later. The general store here also sells a lot of good things like anti-poison, charcoal, papyrus and bronze bars but it is very far from a bank so for now I think I'm just going to get the anti-poison. Annoyingly I'm actually locked out a lot of this area so I can't get into Shiloh Village because I can't do a quest. I can't do any quest because I haven't done Druidic Ritual and they're all locked behind that. All locked behind the quest that is locked behind that. And even the east side of the map is locked behind agility shortcuts, and agility isn't unlocked this week, so I can't even get there. I'll buy my crafting supplies later, but for now I just want to buy some different things from the charter ships I don't have yet, as well as a Tyrus Helm, which is a very minor upgrade. This is the best gear I've got to train with, and you've unlocked defense, and I've got a few rune items in the bank, so I don't mind that, to be honest with you. This is going to be a nice chill training spot. I can kill a pirate here, and I've got access to a food shop, so I can stay here as long as I want. First trip all the way up to level 38 defense, and that is a far better drop table than I remember. Got quite a lot of runes and arrows as well. I was actually worried about you picking range or magic this week, because I don't have any arrows, I don't have any runes, and I can't really buy them anywhere except the Tsar Caves, which are a different currency. I'm going to get a full inventory of crown bonds before I forget, which is going to be great food for any difficult boss that I get in future. You guys absolutely love giving me rune crafting, so these drop an earth talisman 1 in 128. So I'm going to try and grab one if I can. Got the earth talisman, got quite a few herbs as well. If only I could actually train it. I think I'm ready for a new training spot. I didn't want to come here too early because it's 875 coins each time. And whilst you lock me out of getting any new tasks in Slayer, I already have a task, and that's Moss Giants. Thankfully, I can get in here because when you chop the vines, you don't get any experience whatsoever, or I'd actually be locked out of this place as well. That I'm invincible, nobody gonna bring me down. Here we go. I wanted to just try fire giants, but it's really not working out. Level 50 defense and the gear that I've got isn't enough to kill these things. Which sucks, but I guess back to moss giants. The good part about doing moss giants is the mossy keys. Now this will give me access to the boss when I'm next in Mistelin, although I'm not completely sure I can kill it just yet. It does drop quite a few upgrades. 
The plan here is if I can go into the caves and just AFK auto retaliate and make a load of toggle, then the shops here sell some amazing armor, including the Obby Cape and Shield. Now the shield gives a plus five strength bonus and it's absolutely huge, but it really depends how much you get for doing this. And I have no idea because who constantly repeats the first four or five waves in the fight caves? Like no one. 42. Awesome. That'd take me about a week to get one of the items. So that's not going to work. This is all the items in my inventory that I can sell in the area and get Taco back for. And I still don't have enough. In fact, if I sold my entire bank, I would probably only get about half the amount that I need. So it looks like the only way I can get one of these amazing pieces of armor, because they are tier 60 items, they are like huge upgrades for me, is to get it as a drop. But I am definitely not ready to fight anything in here yet. That's my last trip, got five mossy keys in total, and I'm now combat level 55, which means I want to train in a different area. But I just want to do a few things first. Level 21 construction doesn't sound like a lot, but it means I can do all low level quests with construction in it. This is going to be my new training area, going to get the red spider eggs over here, and then I'm going to kill the skeletons. Now I have to wait till level 57, otherwise the bats would have attacked me, which don't have a very good drop table, but the skeletons drop a lot of herbs. Level 60 defense means I can now wear obby gear, if only I could get any. This is going to be my last inventory, 232 red spider eggs. I've got a few herbs, not too many at the moment, but all helps for later when I finally unlock herb law. But I can't afford to unlock that area anytime soon, so it's going to be a while before I can. Before I go for them obby items, I do want to get the things from the charter ships before I forget. So I'm just going to spend an hour or two running back and forth through the charter ship, buying as many things as I can. Last inventory that took an eternity, but over 1,000 now means I can make a ton of molten glass anytime crafting is unlocked in the future, which knowing you guys will probably be never. In another few weeks, this area will be amazing, but the problem I have right now is everything is a little bit high level for me. So this is kind of the next step after Moss Giants, and I'm going to see if I can get lucky and get a room med helm because I don't think I'm going to get that many kills with the food I've got left. That is all my kebabs gone and quite a bit of other food as well. Now, don't really want to use the last of my food. And I'm only getting about five to six kills per trip to try and get an item that isn't even that great. I've tried tons of different ways of how I can get drops from these things. But the reality is, is I just don't have the levels. And there's only one way I can realistically kill them at this level. But for that, I need a favor. But if I ask for a favor, they can say no. And you guys get to give me three awful forfeits at the end of the week. But I just feel like I have to do it. I asked you to put your name in the comments if you want to be the one that I asked for a favour. And two people did, but unfortunately they're offline currently. So I'm going to have to ask someone else I know. And last time I'd done this, my friend was not very friendly. You have a choice. Get in, come on. He would choose B though, wouldn't he? Because he does money makers. It's all he's about making money. And that is huge. That is absolutely massive. So I can now poison three or four of these at the same time. Take cover out the way while they all die. I use hardly any food and I get kills a lot faster. This is much better here, but I don't need to limit myself now to these. I can go for anything because I can poison it. So I want to test some other things as well. These are much harder to hit, but once poisoned, they die fairly quickly, so it's not too bad. This is going to be my last kill for now, because all the drops here are 1 in 512, and they're quite slow to do. So I'm going to make sure I can get at least one big upgrade this week, and then I'm going to come back and see if I can get lucky. I never knew you could flinch two things at once. I always thought it was your timer that you had to wait on, but it's actually the creature's timer, so I can flinch one on one side, flinch the other one on the other side, come back, and the other one's ready. And I can keep doing this, so I can actually kill two at once. And this is quite fast. Hard clue scroll. What's the chances of me being able to do that? None, surely. In the cook guild, what's my cooking level? Yep, level 15. And what's the chance of you guys giving me cooking a mistle next week? That's what I thought. But I'll keep it just in case. Maybe in the future. Hobby Mall. What? And it's probably the one I want the least, but actually for the future, that is huge. If 
finally got the room full health. I'm talking about 200 kills. But now there's only one more thing I want to do in this dungeon. And that is to get some baby dragon bones. First inventory there, not too bad at all. So this shouldn't take too long. It's going to be my last inventory. Level 63 defense I am now. Looking quite good. You can kill a lot of things. It's just this area that it's tough to kill things in. They're all high level. Last few things I need to do before I test my luck on the obby shield or the obby cape is just to get the stuff I might need. So I just bought a load of anti-poisons mainly and a few other things whilst I was there. And lastly, I'm just going to buy a ton of cod and tuna for the bank so it doesn't matter if you unlock fishing or cooking in the future. That's going to be the last food that I buy. So I've got 379 tuna and 366 cod. Definitely going to last me a long time. There's food in most regions if you really need it anyway. But now I've got one day left before the video goes out where I normally edit. And in the background, I'm going to be poisoning the Tazar and hoping I get lucky. No luck with the Tazar, unfortunately. But the last thing I want to do this week is unlock one more area. And I'm going to unlock Mauritania to make it harder for you guys to guess what skills you should pick for me next week. And there's also three forfeits that you need to vote on this week too. Now I know you're not going to be nice for me, but I have a little bit of a joker up my sleeve. You may be able to be mean to me, but can you be mean to him? I please pick Mr. Lin, Wood Cotton, Black Jim, Smithin, and Strength for my daddy, or I'll cry. You big meanies. <laughs> <laughs>